I'm actually gonna take an air tag and try to follow my friend around. I mean, cause no one's actually gonna try to do this in real life, are, are you? New crime trend you're gonna need to know about. It uses some iPhone technology. This small device may be what criminals are now using to follow people home. This is just the latest technology that the crooks are using to follow people to take them down to rob them. I told you so. I mean, listen, I'm not here just to tell you I told you so, but I told you so. I literally tried to point this out to everyone that the Apple AirTag is a product that's kind of problematic, especially when it gets into the wrong hands. And it has. To no surprise to me, I'll tell you that, I'm not shocked. Are you shocked? My guess is no. Listen, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about what's going on right now, what can be done, and really what should be done. Yes, I have a solution, and Apple's not gonna like it, but I'll tell you all about it right after this. This, this is, uh, you know you listening to, to Travis. What up, players? Welcome back. And for all you new people, welcome. My name is Travis and I do tech videos every single week. And today we're going to talk about the AirTags and how they're being used. So let's just get into the video. When the Apple AirTags first came out, my first thought was, can this be used to stalk people? And of course it could. I mean, I tested it and it was successful. You saw it. If you haven't seen the video, links in the description. I'm not even gonna spend a whole bunch of time explaining everything in this video because I really want you to watch that video. If you wanna know the ins and outs of how this thing works, that's the video for you. But in case you don't know, Apple released the AirTags in 2021, and it's a little device that you put somewhere, usually in your bag or on something you're afraid to lose or get stolen, and by pinging other iPhones, it's able to tell you basically where it is. It's done using a very low uh, power Bluetooth. And here's the thing, like you don't even have to know that your phone is actually pinging the cloud to tell other people, you don't give permission to your phone to do this. It just does it. And of course that has to be the case because otherwise this thing doesn't work. The reason why this works better than things like Tile is because pretty much any iPhone becomes a beacon for a lost AirTag. And that's actually the beauty of it. There's so many iPhones that it's inevitable that someone's gonna walk by an AirTag that you know could be lost on a device or, or stolen or whatever. And that's how it works. But something like Tile where you need the actual app installed doesn't work as well because you need the app installed and most people don't have an app installed. Apple is able to use their own software to kind of make it a pingy thingy without you needing to download anything. And again, this becomes a both benefit and kind of kind of this, this whole situation. And basically what is happening is exactly what I did in that video. People are putting air tags on cars and then allegedly following them home to either rob them or steal the car or something. The thing is that this is bad. On every single possible scenario, it's bad. Lots of people were saying, well, yeah, but it alerts you after three days. Yeah, do you wanna be tracked for three days? I don't think so. And even some of the improvements that Apple has made, you have to remember that if your phone isn't updated or even, even worse, if you're not really paying attention to your phone because not everyone looks at their phone all the time, you could be being tracked for hours on end. As long as it's within range of any iPhone, it will ping back. Now it's not real time as my video showed, you'll have to watch that again in order to understand exactly how it works, but it is close enough that if you sit at home for a little while, someone's gonna know where you live. And it's darn accurate. Again, watch the video I did at how accurate it is. I found someone miles away uh, without any trouble. And really people have done YouTube videos about sending these things all over the world. And of course it works because as soon as it pings an iPhone anywhere, it's gonna upload that information to your Find My app. Here's the thing, Apple. I mean, these things are 30 bucks and it was a nice little convenience, but really let's just be honest. I have the solution for you. Seriously, listen close, Apple. Discontinue these things. Burn it in fire. You don't need the hassle that comes along with any kind of profit you're getting off a $30 tracker. Literally, this thing could get worse. Imagine if someone gets tracked, stalked, and <coughs> Apple will have to ask themselves, is it worth it? Is that profit worth it? It's not. This product is almost forgotten about. Most people in the tech sphere has com have completely forgotten about AirTags. You just don't think about it anymore. This is exactly what I said in the last video. I kind of thought uh, this is gonna be one of those things that happens and then people are gonna forget about it, and then something's going to happen. So far, nothing super bad has happened, but it's starting and it may not end. Apple needs to pull the support for these things immediately. Whatever profit you're making, Apple, it, it's not worth it. All it takes is one person getting very well hurt in a very public way, and then you have a much bigger problem than air tags. So if it's me, I'm pulling that thing. And again, if you wanna know the ins and outs of how this works, 
The video is right there. Make sure you go watch it. It's crazy. Software updates or not, the thing still works this way. Tell me in the comments what you think, and I'll see you next time. Peace and love.